Hey, this is Benji coming at you with an unboxing video that I am very excited about. This is the Motorola StarTac, uh, their new flagship with Vibracol technology. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for several months now, and uh, oh, look at that. There's some great accessories that come with it. Yeah, the box looks really awesome. I'm really liking all the information and the visuals they have on here. But uh, without further ado, why don't we dive in and see what this bad boy looks like. Wow, and there it is. All right, so we've got a user's guide here, and this is this is really in depth. A lot of page count. You know, you don't see anything like this with Apple, with the iPhone or Samsung or anything like that. Really cool, really cool. Glad they did that. Um, let's see, a car charger. Now this is awesome. This is awesome. This is something that none of the other uh, big manufacturers are putting in with their devices, and it's just it just makes sense because we're all in our cars all all the time. Um, we've got the regular uh, charger right here. Um, what I like about this is that it didn't use USB. You know, we have so many of these USB chargers, and uh, like you just start to have too many of them. And this is nice because it just sort of goes in. Look, it's got a nice indication. Top. I wish my USB cables said that. Uh, so already one point for Motorola with this one. All right. What else do we have here? Oh, well, inside here, let's open this up. And is this what I think it is? Yes, it looks like it's some sort of case. It's actually, oh, does it have a, a clip? Yeah, it's a holster case. Um, really cool. You know, you don't have to buy a case, unlike you have to do for most phones. And uh, you can put it on your belt, so uh, big ups. Uh, here's a battery, spare battery. When's the last time you had a cell phone that came with a spare battery? Um, really cool. Oh, and look at that. It's got a holder for it, which means, you know, when it's in your pocket, you can easily carry that around. And then here it is. The bad boy himself. The Motorola StarTac. Really awesome phone. Wow. Look at that. So here I have it next to my old iPhone 5, and you can see that they're actually pretty similar in terms of thickness. Uh, Motorola is pretty competitive to Apple here. Uh, both very thin phones, uh, and they both feel great in the hand. Actually, believe it or not, the StarTech is lighter than the iPhone 5. The iPhone 5 comes in at 112 grams, whereas the StarTech is only 98 grams. Uh, so it's pretty fantastic how it just fits in your hand like this. And the screen closes, completely protecting the screen. Uh, so, you know, another great feature there that you can't do with the iPhone. Here you can see it in comparison to the Galaxy S4, and in this, I mean, there's a clear winner. StarTech is much smaller, um, and would be much better at fitting into a small pocket that is thicker, uh, as opposed to a large pocket that is thin. When it comes to boot up time, this baby is pretty, in I mean, there it is, just like that. Uh, compare that to any other smartphone out there. Uh, really, there's no comparison. Um, this phone just really is fast. Uh, and shutting it down, watch this. And done. Just like that. I mean, very amazing. I, I can't tell you how awesome this is. And see, this antenna is great because it will really just completely prevent any sort of antenna gate situation, you know, your hands just do not touch the antenna at all while you're on a phone call. The interface is clean and easy and simple, which is great. Uh, the display has an awesome contrast ratio. You know, since Google sold Motorola earlier this year, it's not running on Android OS anymore, which uh, takes a little bit getting used to, but this has text messages and pretty much every other feature you'd want on a phone these days. Battery life leaves a little bit to be desired. These are smaller batteries, and that's what you sort of get when you sacrifice uh, size for portability. Uh, these batteries are 500 milliamp hours, which translates to about two hours of talk time, as opposed to the Galaxy S4's 17 hours of talk time. So all in all, I definitely have to recommend this phone. It's got a great build quality. It fits in your hand perfectly. And uh, it's just an all-around great machine. So that's it. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And please let me know what device you'd like to see me unbox next. Uh, thanks for watching.